like the Premier League and EFL postponing their games for the time being. The National League does continue, which means Sutton United will be looking to build on their fantastic 2-0 victory over Torquay last week. A man of the match performance of Kogoro wasn't enough to keep them aside. Ben Goodliffe comes in for him. The visitors today are Hartlepool United. Since Dave Chandler became their manager, they've certainly had an upturn form. Uh, despite having a, a, a shocking home defeat to Eversley United a week ago, uh, they make three changes. Southern Hales, Harker and Hawks come into the side. And Hartlepool just sit outside the playoffs. Sutton United are six points behind them with a game in hand. So a win for the U's will certainly close them in on the visitors today. Well, we're ready now here at Gandarine Lane. Can Sutton United get back-to-back -back wins, a back-to-back -back home wins? Ben Goodlips just geeing up the troops there. It's going to be a stiff test. We just beat them 3-1 uh, on the opening day of the season. It was a, it was a very tight game. Straight away, Donaldson trying to speed forward, but stopped in his tracks. Good lift, looking for Azure Boy early on. He comes in sparkling form last week. Disappointed he didn't get a goal in that game against Torquay. Look on Pupi Girl, just a bit too far in front of Azure Boy. Odyssey are back to Killip. Oh, and Alafe chasing down! And Killip's out of there! And Alafe gets his deserved goal! Last week he had chances which he could have converted and that must have frustrated him. But he's taken that frustration out there on blocking Killip. And the ball thudded into the net. Excellent pressing for Isaac Alafe. And that gives Sutton United another early lead. Two weeks in a row we've set a stall very quickly in games. Great start and a first goal for Isaac Alafe. Here's Odysina. Gets away from Brugel, or Brugel did everything he could to put him off. Odyssey needed to get the pass away, and now the move breaks down. Good lift towards Brugel. Killip comes out under pressure from Brugel, and he has to clear it out of the ground. I do wonder what's going through Killip's head at the moment. Little into Southern Hales. Molyneux. It's that playmaker they want to get on the ball. Hartley for Luke Molyneux. Donaldson. Oh, nice ball to Southern Hales. Hartley Paul could be in it. A cut back. And it's broken down for the time being. And it's broken down altogether. Now Sutton can get the counter attack going. Here's David Ashboy, the one man they really want when a counter attack is on. Still David Ashboy. Still David Ashboy. Still David Ashboy. Still David Ashboy. And Killip makes up for his mistake. That will certainly give the Hartley Paul. Number one a lift. What a run for David Ashboy. Such a shame he couldn't finish it off. Sutton still feeling the pressure in it. And Brugel shot wayward over the bar in the end. What a dribble. What a save. Brugel just got a faint flick on. I think Brugel's annoyed he didn't have Alafe or Ashboy running onto that flick on. That's one of the key tactics for the Sutton United front line. Killett's still getting the Arantes here, even though he pulled off a fantastic save from Azure Boy. Oh, slap there from Artie Paul. And Isaac Alafe's in a bit of space. Has Randall for support. Isaac Alafe can he get a second of the day? Oh, and he wasn't too far off there. Shifted it onto his left foot. Just wide of hitting the top corner of Ben Killip's net. That certainly wasn't far off. Hawks, and I'd say that was a dangerous delivery. It's dealt with in the end. And now counter attack it. Here's Isaac Alafe up on his own. Isaac Alafe, oh, it was a tight angle and straight to the advertising hoardings in the end. I don't blame Alafe up on his own. I think it was a bit of an unexpected counter attack. Oh, and I'll tell you what, Hollahan gets away from him. Another fantastic block from Ben Gulliff, his third heroic block of the day so far. Hartley pulled to have a corner. Something like they've got that to deal with now. That's unlucky there for Beatman. Hollahan just got away from him. Well, Gulliff was there to the rescue. Oh, delivery looked like it was over here, but I tell you what, Little keeps it. 
alive. And Harker can't get a shot towards goal. Like Rugel was caught there. Ajboy takes it out of the area and is going to clear it here. Galapes on to chase. Well, Solomel's got there just to clear out the danger for well, Laffey can get set. Sutton will take that, can push the team up now. Donaldson oh, couldn't get there for Milson. Milson just got his toe to it. Here's Randall. Sutton a bit compact at the moment. Randall want to spread the play out. Has to go back to good lift. As your boy. Back here to Barden. Barden looks for Beatman. Beatman, excellent first touch to perfection. Cuts it back on oh, Barnum trying to get onto it. And now Hollahan gives it away. Donaldson sandwiched there in between Randall and Brugel. Brugel had a heavy touch. Here's Ajiboy. Still David Ajiboy. Jinking his way through. Out here to Randall. Randall is going to go himself. Goes for a cross. Towards Beatman. Chest over his head in the end. I think Randall made the right choice there. Some Hales ball forward, didn't find a dark green shirt. Oh, brilliant there from John. Change of feet, gets away from Molyneux. Couldn't pick out a teammate though. I don't think that matter too much. Edging towards half time with that one goal in. Actually, the whistle goes now. And it is a fantastic first half at Sutton United. Got the goal they needed early on. Through It was a bit of a freak goal. Uh, Killip took a bit too long on the balls. Under pressure from Isaac Calafe. And uh, Killip smacked the ball, it was head, smacked the ball, which was heading forward, but Alafe had other ideas, blocked it inside the six yard box, and it went right into the back of the net. Ajiboy could have doubled the lead, but overall, Hartlepool had more of the ball, but Sutton United had been set up very well and a very successful first half, and I'm sure Matt Grove hoping to build that in the second. We're back underway now. Milson, quick vision to look for Brugel. Uh, Odessina headed it away. Donaldson cushions it up for Harker. Beatman picks up Rugel. Good work there from Beatman. Nice cushion flick on. And Odessina gives away a free kick there. Barden goes to the pass. And Hartlepool read that. But Randall gets off Hawks. Nah, here's still Will Randall through the middle. He's going to look out wide now to John. Louis John, low ball in. Just comes off the bottom of Randall's body. Oh, and uh, not the worst attempt in the world from Ben Gulliff on his uh, return to the start 11. On the scene of the outside of his right foot, well read there from Gulliff. On his fast kitchen, though. Parker, Hollahan turns. Into Hawks, good start from Hartlepool in this second half. Southern Males with a cross. Oh, and hits the top of the net in the end. Southern Males, I was just saying uh, off at half time, how good he's been for Hartlepool the, with the overlapping runs. And he's got a good delivery on him. He's put a lot of low deliveries in this game. That one was a, certainly a high loop one. Almost caught out Zanab there. Rugel flicks it towards Isaac Alafe. Good control there from Alafe. Here's Randall. Up against Solemn Hills. Good pressure there from Artie Ford. Goes back to Wyatt. Milsom. Randall. Good strength there from Randall. Back into Milsom. Gulliff had to be alert there. And he was. Gulliff. Oh, and he looks for Ajiboy. Is, is, is it going to get to him in the end? Ajiboy. Going to go around the keeper. Turns. Ajiboy still. Oh, the angle just broke down for him in the end. Still will Randall, has he got the corner kick? He has, as your boy's just gonna get his feet sorted in time. I think he was a bit shocked that it fell to him and it had his back towards goal when he got round to kill it. And Hartlepool there on the cover. And Randall has got Sutton the corner though. Loves those flat corners, Rob Milson. Head away from Liddell. Here's Hawks now. Looks for Molyneux. First attacker forward. And Olahan! He looked a bit off balance there, but he improvised. And it was a great finish into the corner in front of the visiting fans. And they go wild. That's Hartlepool, you've got to admit, a deserving level there at Gander Green Lane. Great finish.
Here's a little bit of a toe poke finish from Hollihan there. But a swift move from Hartlepool. And they are level now, game on. Here's Milson out there to Barden. Well, Sutton United kind of get themselves back in front. Beatman, ball block, block there for Beatman. Here's Randall. Randall into Bugel. Bugel shot just wide of the target. Did take a deflection, no. Good work for Sutton. Blunt to get himself straight back on the attack. And they certainly have achieved that. Good clearance there from John. Here's Bugel. Armand Bugel takes his time. Charging forward himself. Good slide challenge from Odessina. Beatman out here to Ajiboy. Milsom, here's Barden now. Back here for Milsom. Wyatt. Randall, what can Randall do this? Isolate of it here, Will Randall. Still Will Randall. And play carries on, here's Will Randall. Cuts about for Alafe, Isaac Alafe oh, wanted to take too many touches there. Sutton still keeping it alive though. Randall once again made that chance for Alafe there. And Wyatt's cross is blocked from Southern Hales. Milson back here to Goodliff. Good ball there, but well read there from Macaulay Southern Hales. Featherstone just managed to get that away from John. Well, John, John just sort of stood there and let Featherstone hit that past him. Here's Torre. Hollahan. Sunham Hales has Donaldson for sport. Lovely one, two on the right hand side. And Zanev grabs that as Keener was challenging him at the near post. Lovely low ball in from Sunham Hales. Zanev looks for Bugel, beaten the air by Little. Milson stretched there. Dimash get a pass into Wyatt. Wyatt now gliding forward. Still Ben Wyatt. Goes for the shot, oh, target in the end. That's finally something we want to see. Oh, it did get a deflection. Sutton will have a corner. Milsom. A low delivery and a flick from Beautyman from Eastman Tedder. Somehow saved from Killip in the end. I thought that was destined for the net. Now Hartlepool looking to get on the counter. Keener turns. Good tackle there from Barden. He gives it out here to Milsom. Here's Ajiboy. Ajiboy stopped in his tracks there from Kitching and Milson. Just going to have to take the throw in the end. Dundas keeps on the control. Eastmond turns and gives it back to John. Wyatt. He's Rindle now. Still Randall. Stopped in his tracks. Good block there for Solomon Hale. Still Randall. His cross towards the back. Stick and Buma just off the post. What a chance. Another cross towards Beatman. Beatman's header angled into the centre and Hartley ball clear. And what a chance there. Harry Beatman denied by the post. Randall towards Ajiboy. So one last chance for Sutton here. David Ajiboy being pulled back from Kitchen. Good ball there for Matt Gray <laughs> towards Eastmond. And we can take the free kick now. Milson looks for Beatman. Beatman looking to get in behind. Beatman gets it under control. Harry Beatman looks for Ajiboy. David Ajiboy, he gets the shot in. Oh, what a block on the line there from Gary Little. And another late opportunity for Sutton. Can't reach the back of the net. Gary Little. Denies the shot from Ajiboy, did everything right. Looked like he was heading into the centre of the net. Somehow stopped, I think, with the right knee of Little there. Milsom with the corner kick. And Goodliff wins a flick on, cleared out the box. And Sutton United couldn't win it in the end. And the chance at Ajiboy looks like that was the last one. And how Sutton United didn't win that. Right, the death. Beatman hit the post, and as you boys, opportunity 
off the line by Lidl. But you've got to say it's a fair result. Hartlepool played some very good football today. Son opened a scoring early on through Alafe, but the leveller came early on from Hollihan, deservedly so. And Sutton United had some great opportunities at the end. Really up the tempo in the last 10 minutes of the game. Not quite for Sutton United, but we move on to Tuesday night against AFC Fylde with our third straight home game. Hopefully we can make it seven points out of nine at home and keep this good momentum we've got going into the last sprint of this season.